Hey guys, this is Ken Finnan at Capital Advantage Tutoring, and it's my job to get you past the Series 7. Ooh, I used to say SIE, now it's Series 7. Hey, okay. So a couple of things first, please, if you like what I'm doing, please tell people. I'm trying to give away this shit for free. Also, if you like some of the stuff I'm doing, go into my details and take a look. We have Achievable for the SIE and the 7. We got STC stuff. I got some good books you can read through Amazon. You can get a Weeble account. A lot of stuff in there. And if you need tutoring, please reach out to me. So today we're talking about accrued interest and how to calculate it. They don't go too heavy on the test, but it's a nice thing to look at and it's a nice thing to know. So let's go. So accrued interest. Accrued interest is the amount of interest that you're accruing. God, circular definition of when you own a bond. So a bond is, you're buying a bond, so you're lending money to an issuer, and they pay you every six months. At the end of each six months, they're paying you for the previous six months. Pretty simple. The problem is, you know, going on, you're fine. But the problem is, if you sell it in between those periods, there's some interest owed to somebody. So the seller, if they sell it in between a period, well, they've been earning interest every single day, accruing interest every day. So the buyer has to pay the seller the interest that has been accruing since the last payment day. So on the test, they're going to make you calculate the days, if even. Maybe not. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. But remember, when you're doing this, when you buy a bond, you're paying the seller the interest that is accrued from the last payment up to but not including settlement day. So if the bond settles on a Monday, you pay till when? Sunday. It's the day before I said that. So if you buy a bond and it sells on Friday, you pay until Thursday. Because when it settles, it's now your bond and the interest going forward is yours. At the end of the six months, if you buy the bond before the six month payment date, you are going to get the entire six months worth of interest, but you're not entitled to it. It's actually the sellers. Some of, some of it's the sellers. So you have to prepay that when you buy the bond. So let's do some math. So let's start with this. Johnny buys one IBM 8% bond, matures January 2030. So if it matures on January 2030, that means the other payment date is six months later, which is going to be July. So if I get you the maturity date, we always know that's one of the payment dates. So the other one is going to be six months away. So now let's say Johnny buys it on Monday, May. Now remember, since it's a corporate bond, since it's a corporate bond, okay? Since it's a corporate bond, it's going to test subtle T plus two. So it's going to settle on Wednesday, May, Amy, May 12th. On May 12th, it's my bond or Johnny's bond, okay? On May 12th, it's Johnny's bond. After that, all the interest going forward till July is going to be Johnny's, but he has to pay the seller all the interest that has accrued since January up until the day before settlement, which is May 11th. So we're going to say, okay, so we know that since it's a corporate, remember that corporates, corporates and munis have a 30 day month. Okay. And a day, their year is 360 days. If it was a treasury, Ken can't spell, just we know that. If it was a treasury, it's an actual day. They're all actual, okay? We'll come back to that. We'll put it here, put that over there, so it's good. So let's do this. I know, so we know that, so it settles on the 12th, we count to the 11th. So we have January, February, March, April, May. Now, since it's May, we know it's the day before settlement, so we know it's going to be 11 days in May. That's easy. Now, how many days are in each month? Since it's a corporate, since it says IBM, it's a corporate, we know that it's 30 days a month, so we're going to do 30, 30, 30, 30. Or you can just do 4 times 30. So it's 4 times 30, so that's going to be 120 days in the year, and then plus 11. So that's going to be 131 days of recruit interest. That's what you owe them. 131 days of accrued interest. Now, let's say on the vendor, the test won't do this, but let's say the vendor does it and they say, oh, how much do you have to pay them? So you take out the handy data calculator and go, okay, well, an 8% bond pays 80 bucks a year. 8% bond calculator, 
An 8% bond pays 80. How many days in a year? Oh, it's 360. 80 divided by 360 is a good old 22 cents a day. So for every day that you own it, this person's getting 22 cents per bond. So that's going to be 22 cents, 222 two, two, really, times how many days? 131 days. That gives me $29.11. So you'll have to pay this person $29.11 of accrued interest. So let's do another one on a treasure and then we'll try a new one. So let's erase a couple of things. We'll change this to a, oh, look at that, it goes crazy. Drop it down here. We don't need the corporate anymore because we are done with that. So we're just gonna go erase, erase. Everything's gone. Now I go in here, I change this to a T-bond. UST, 8% bond matures January, 2030. Same thing, but what happens to settlement? Remember, so treasury settle T plus one. So this is gonna settle on Tuesday, May 11th. Now remember, you count to the day before settlement. So we're doing 10 days in May because we're counting to the 10th. That works. We're gonna put here 10 days. Now let's go back. We got January, February, March, April, May. So we got the easy one, we got the, the May one out. So we know that's gonna be 10 days because it's day, up to the day before settlement and it's T plus one. Now, how many days in January? We've got 31 in January. Since they didn't say leap year, which they choose they won't do, it's 28 days in Feb, 31 in March and 30 in April. And we're gonna have to, don't ever do shit in your head. So we're gonna add this up. So we're gonna go 31 plus 28 plus 31 plus 30, plus 10. So that's gonna be 130 days. You cannot ballpark it because you just don't know. So that's 130 days of recruit interest. Well, let's do the same thing as get the actual number. So we're gonna go 80. Now this is real because it's actual days. So let's do 80 divided by 365. So that's 2191, okay? 80 divided by 365, that's 2191. Times how many days? 130. So that works out to be, $28.49 of accrued interest you have to pay them. Okay, good. Let's try one last one. No different. We're just going to, it's going to be all the same. It's going to be a corporate immunity because that's how we like to do it. So Mary buys one IBM, love the IBM, 12% bond. We can even say debenture if you want, just a heck of it. It's going to mature, M for mature, in, let's say, November 2033. And she bought it on, let's go crazy and say Thursday, April, let's go to July. I'm making it up as we go. Thursday, July 15th. Okay. So let's do this. So first of all, we bought it on Thursday, July 15th. That means it settles on Friday. Oh, it settles on Monday. So we buy it on Thursday and it settles, settles on Monday. Now let's do the math. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So 16 for Friday, 17 for Saturday, 18. So it's going to settle on the 19th. So we count to the day before, which is gonna to count to Sunday the 18th, okay? Let's just double check to make sure we don't get it wrong. Friday is the 16th, Saturday is the 17th, Sunday is the 18th, Monday is the 19th. So we count to Sunday the 18th. So we have 18 days in, at least we know in July. So we're gonna put, so now we have to go back to the last payment day. So if we know that January and July, December and June, November and May, so we're gonna go back to May. We got May, June, July, pretty simple. So we got July is 18 days. We have June, since it's a corporate, right? So it's a corporate, we don't care about this, corporate. We're gonna go back to this, it's gonna be 30 in June and 30 in May. So we go 30, so that's 60. Don't ever do it in your head, 30 plus 30 plus 18. That's gonna be 78 days of accrued interest. We're good so far. That's usually as far as you'll ever have to go. 
well, let's go nuts out and go, okay, so a 12% bond pays 120 a year divided by the number of days in a year, according to the corporate stuff, that's 360. So that's, you know, we're going with this 33 cents a day. We're going to do that times 78, 78 days. So this kind of answer is going to be, you have to pay them 25. Interest. Okay, guys, that's it. It's really simple. Don't worry about it. I'm going to come out with tax equivalent yield this week, and that's going to be our next one. So please, if you like what I'm doing, hit like, subscribe, and share the shit out of this, and hit the notifications. Because don't forget, I got those lives every Tuesday and Thursday. Ask any question on any fundraising, and maybe one of these days I'm going to do a pop-up option one where I just do an hour on options. Just maybe. <laughs>